when doing business domestically or internationally, we have to wonder how do we grow our business into new markets, into new regions, and what's going to motivate people to help us? Well, a friend of mine gave me a tip, and he calls it the five universal motivators. What will motivate people to help us, especially in international business? One motivator is trust or relationships. If people trust you, they're going to be motivated to work with you. And think about all the relations that we already have from college, from work, from family. Those relations are critical. Like in China, guanxi or relationships is a critical part of how they do business. It's a huge motivator. The second motivator is solve my problem. Everybody has problems, but the issue is how do we find them? And there's only one way to do it. You have to spend time with people. You put that time in, have strategic questions, and you can really find out what their dreams are, their desires, and also you can find out their concerns, their problems. The third universal motivator might be make me money or save me money. And again, goes to knowing people. If you have a way to show how them how you can help them make money or how they can save money, they're going to be motivated to at least talk to you. So understand that from a quantitative perspective. The fourth motivator is make me look good. Not handsome, but make me look good with my colleagues. Make me look good to my boss. Make me look good in the environment. This seems kind of silly, but certain professions this is critical, such as sales or with politicians, but also in this economic crisis we live in today, we might want to look good just to keep our jobs. Likewise, the person you're working with might want to look good to their boss, their team, or even their subordinates. If you can find that out and help make them look good, they might be highly motivated to work with you. And finally, the fifth motivator, and it might be the most important one. It's ethics and values. It's important because it's a negative motivator. Be careful about ethics and values and crossing lines, particularly when you're doing business internationally, because if you cross a line with somebody, they'll be motivated to work against you. For example, in America we always say, don't talk about sex, religion, or politics in the workplace. People do it all the time. Then again, they're risking their careers and their business. And internationally, we can make faux pas all the time, even on accident. For example, most people would see me, blonde hair, blue eyes, and would never guess that I lived in China, I spoke Chinese, and had a love and affinity for China. They could easily make a mistake and critique China and then offend me and cause a negative motivation. So think about these motivators when you're doing business and hopefully they'll help you succeed. Good luck everybody.